65-year-old Wayne Clark grew up playing football. This is uh, seventh grade with my brother and I. A passion that led to a career with the pros. Third one in. But it was an injury some 40 years ago while playing for the San Diego Chargers that may have affected Wayne for the rest of his life. I didn't remember any of that day at all. Unlike other concussions, you might ha feel a little starry-eyed, but you'll have a general idea of where you are and so forth. This was rather extreme. Um, I just had no recollection of the whole day. Wayne is taking part in a small but groundbreaking study at UCLA. Doctors are imaging the brains of retired NFL players who have suffered one or more concussions on the field. This is the first time we've been able to image in living football players protein deposits that we've observed in people with Alzheimer's disease. The new finding of a hallmark Alzheimer's protein in the brains of the former players was made possible by a chemical marker that binds to those proteins. This is typical of what we're seeing. With a PET scan image, the deposits light up. Our study found that the more concussions the player had, the higher the protein count in the brain. All five of the players in the landmark study showed the signature Alzheimer's protein deposits in their brain. In your scan, there's more red. On the left, a brain without a history of concussion, and Wayne's brain on the right, with the red, yellow, and green representing protein deposits associated with Alzheimer's disease. When I first saw the scan, I thought, whoa, that looks pretty extensive. But Wayne has only mild memory loss that could be normal aging. I have uh, problems I, I know recalling names which I recall used to be pretty easy for me and so forth and now I go through stages where I think oh how come I can't remember that and I'm always wondered are these age related or are they concussion related. Dr. Small says it will take more research to know for sure. Although this is a small preliminary study if the findings hold up we may be able to detect these early signs of Alzheimer's in head trauma victims before symptoms become severe. The goal is to then employ treatments and strategies early to extend and improve their lives.